Welcome back to episode 73 of the P.S. Gilmore story. And we're looking at specifically 1875 and something very unusual in regards Gilmore and his attitude to America. In 1871, 72, 73, there was an attempt uh, made by the people of Kentucky to launch um, a library, a public library, much needed in the in all of the states at this stage. But there was no money to do uh, any development. In 1873, for instance, the library collected money through a lottery system, uh, but sadly, the um, when the business when the building was occupied uh, shortly afterwards, it had to be closed because of some scandal in regards that same lot lottery um here is an example of what they were trying to do no nothing wrong with the uh, intent um obviously one or two individuals uh, were responsible for the scandal but basically you had a lottery you had gifts uh, uh in various sizes and so on and so forth and so they had to come up with a better idea. By 1875, again, the actual uh, library that had been bought had been closed. And early on in uh, January of 1875, they decided that they were going to really, really try to develop this idea further. And um, how best to do it, but have the biggest star uh, in America behind it. Gilmore and his renowned 22nd Regiment have been selected to furnish the music for the fifth and last grand uh, gift concert of the public library, etc., etc. There is no slight distinction in this because there was competitors from all over America and Europe. But Gilmore carried off the palm, it says so. And we'll see more of that uh, later. Gilmore's 22nd Regiment Band of New York at this stage was been advertised this way with 65 musicians, Arbuckle, Le Fabre, Bracht, uh, um, solo singers and so on and so forth. It, it, like it, it was a couple of light years ahead of the majority of entertainment um, um, performers in America at this stage. And so the plan was put into place that as of February, it was it was going to be the Public Library of Kentucky um, um, month. They were going to hold a series of concerts, uh, as you see here, admission one one dollar uh, gallery, 50 cents. Now, that was a huge um, uh, amount of money, considering the uh, average admission to Gilmore's concerts throughout the country was 50 cents at the time. In the month of February of 1875, they would hold 19 concerts in 13 different locations in from and, and from the uh, f February the 7th to February the 26th. New York, Washington, Baltimore, Cleveland, you see them all there, Chicago, St. Louis, and of course, finishing up in Louisville, Kentucky. Here's an example of one of the concerts that took place in New York. Um, a huge program, uh, everything put into it, um, soloists, um, a, a wonderful display of music and so on, and the reviews and um uh, so on of these concerts wa were um full of praise and bear in mind this is 1875 this is three years before gilmore would be touring um in europe no one knew about that at this stage but what gilmore was doing was he was building up his soloists so he was building up the band he was building <coughs> up the um the organization to one um stage never before reached by any american band in the history of music in america and so um here's another um a little um snippet about 
Gilmore's band will open the drawing. This is on the 27th, the last day, with a burst of melody. And at the night, the drawing will be over. The band will then give its concert. And this is the advertisement for the Louisville, Kentucky uh, date on the final day on February the 27th. Of course, um, the library had had, as I said at the very start, its share of hassles uh, in development um, for a variety of reasons. And one of the things that it didn't need was any question of their credibility and so on and so forth. And they had got over that by having someone like Gilmore who would be trustworthy, uh, credible and and uh, um, seen as a patriotic American at this stage. And of course, what would happen did happen. And that was the governor of Kentucky died suddenly. Uh, more to that uh, later. Gilmore and his renowned uh, 22nd, yes, uh, has been selected, etc. There is no slight distinction that uh, there were competitors from most of our large cities and from Europe, but Gilmore, the hero of two jubilees, carried off the palm. The band and its distinguished leader will start in a few days for Louisville, Kentucky. Here's another little advertisement. Millions of dollars have been spent in securing Gilmore's band for the Kentucky Library drawing. Imagine how those people thought at that st time. 250,000, I think, was the top prize. Your average income was five, uh, sorry, three dollars in uh, for a laborer. A short postponement of the fifth concert. This is in reference to um, the upset that had taken place because of the death of the governor. Um, they got over that by being up front and so on. At the very end, it says the past, we feel assured, will be sufficient guarantee to all interested that they will be fairly paid out, etc., etc. Um, you can read that. On, in your own time. And there is one grand cash gift of 250,000. That must have been worth billions in today's money. The, any of those prizes um, were enormous um, compared to a $100 uh, gift was 30 weeks to a laborer. At the last concert, Public Library of Kentucky, postponed for a full drawing to 27th of February. The short postponement um, has been announced. Um, and uh, so it was the final concert and the full drawing of prizes before Gilmore's band. We can I can find no part. Did Gilmore pull the ticket out or... Um, how was it drawn? I, I don't know. Was was there one of those old wheels that you'd see, like a little Ferris wheel uh, with a ticker? Tick, 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 tick. Um, maybe it was that. I don't know. But we can only um, <laughs> smile and delight at what these people did back in 1875. And so that's another one of the Gilmore stories from 1875 hope you've enjoyed it please click like and subscribe and i'll be back next week with another story from gilmore's story